My name is Carlos Medina and this is the title of my presentation Advancing the Understanding of Inflammatory Bowel Disease of IBD. For those who don't know me, so I am a Spanish gastroenterologist. I did all my clinical training in Barcelona. Later on I decided to do my PhD also in Barcelona and after a postdoc position in Houston, Texas, I decided to move here to Trinity College and I was awarded with a SFI Stokes lectureship. Over the past five years, I have secured funding to support my research, basically from these two agencies, Enterprise Island and SFI. And basically these are my research interests cancer and obviously as gastroenterologists I am very much interested in colon cancer, inflammatory bowel disease and nanoparticle based therapeutics. My talk today will be focused on inflammatory bowel disease and what I have been doing for the past year which is the study, the, the study of matrix metalloproteinases, the involvement of these enzymes in IBD. So in order to do that, in our group, we use IBD animal models, in vitro systems such as cytokine stimulated cells, and we have established strong collaborations not only here but internationally, particularly with Spain. So, okay, so the team's primary research objective is, sorry, the identification and characterization of molecular targets involved in IBD. Why? Basically because both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, IBD in general, is a chronic inflammatory condition of the gut whose etiology is not very well understood. There is no cure for the disease. The treatments available can relieve symptoms, but they don't cure the disease. In addition, IBD usually affects young people. Most of them are unable to work, and this represents an important economic impact for our society. That's why First of all, we have to understand, we have to know what's going on in IBD, and this is what we have been doing for the past years. So I will give you one example. We have been studying the involvement of MMPs in animal models of IBD, and found that MMP9 could be among targets to be considered MMP9 is overexpressed in experimental colitis, as you can see here, by cymography or immunohistochemistry. And if MMP9 is knocked down, deficient animals will develop a mild type of colitis compared to wild types that develop a very severe one. So once the target has been identified, the next log logical step is to design a new effective therapeutic strategy for IBD. So basically we try to synthesize new compounds, okay? Trying to manipulate pharmacologically this target. And that's why I have to work closely with chemist within the school, and I would like to acknowledge Dr. John Gilmore, who will present just after me. I would like to acknowledge two, uh, uh, June, Shane, for their fantastic work on uh, MMP, on new MMP inhibitors, synthesizing and testing these new compounds, both in vitro and in vivo. Finally, IBD patients, will be on medication for a long, long period of time, and therefore they have to face, they have to deal with too many side effects. 
So that's why we are really interested in, in delivering the drug in the place that really matters, which is the colon with practically no absorption, avoiding therefore systemic side effects. Okay, so thank you so much for your attention.